As a star quarterback, congressman, pastor, and now business leader, J.C. Watts has learned what it takes to overcome, persevere, and succeed. In an inspiring and practical new book called Dig Deep, Seven Truths to Finding the Strength Within, Watts shares the secrets to digging deep by going beyond the excuses and blame game and finding your inner reservoirs of inspiration, character, strength, and motivation. Well, joining us now is J.C. Watts, and this is a great book, Dig, Dig Deep, Seven Truths of Finding the Strength Within. And boy, you, you hit one of my numbers. When I get into adversity, I tend to be an emotional eater. <laughs> I can find <laughs> solace in, in, in making a nice meal. Um, <laughs> why do we do that? Why is that sort of the natural thing to say, I'm going to complain or, or I'm going to quit or I'm, I'm going to go medicate it? Well, because... Gordon, it feels good to drink from that cup. It, it, it's warmth, it's, it's comfort, it, it soothes us. And, 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 and that, is, that is a natural thing. And I talk about how if we're to get to our mountaintop, and your mountaintop may be different than mine, that at, at some point in time, we, we, we hope that we mature in a way that, as, as I talk about in the book, going through a horrible experience in state government, but getting dragged into an investigation. And, you know, for 15, 17 years, I, I thought, you know, it was rotten. It, it, it stunk to high heaven. But today I look back and I say, I don't look back at what it did to me. I look back at what it did for me. Hmm. And it, it gave me a foundation to... I think exercise my faith, and as I've said many times before, faith is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. And and so, I've had plenty of opportunities to exercise my faith and and to make it stronger. And I talk about some of those in in dig deep. Yeah, I like to say untested faith is no t faith at all. That's right. If everything I, is amen. going easy, then that's right. Uh, that's right. You know, watch out because life is going to come at you hard and fast. Just, as, as Andre Crouch said, if, you know, if I never had any problems, I'd never know that God could solve them. And so, you know, adversities, is, if, if, you, if people have not had adversities, just, just hang on. They're, they're coming. And, and so... <laughs> Jesus but, but, promises you're going to have that's them. That's right. You're going to have them. But, <laughs> but you, you can get through those things, uh, fighting through a bad relationship, fighting you know, an, another down or, or, or fighting through a, a, a bad business deal, whatever the case might be. Every, every storm runs out of rain and, and that adversity should teach us, not uh, hinder us. What would you say to somebody who has already gone into the bad behavior, has already said, okay, when adversity comes, th this is what I'm, I'm, I'm going to duck and run. I'm, I'm not going to go through it. I'm going to find my, my comfort space, whatever that is. And how, it, how do they break that behavior pattern? Well, you know, I, I call it in the book, I, I call it drinking from the cup of, of victimhood. And, mm -hmm. and, and Gordon, we all do that. Uh, I've done it. You've done it. We, we all do it because it makes us feel good. It, it's, you know, we, 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 the truth often hurts before it helps. And, and I, I, I think when, when people get in, into those modes, you know, I, I, I would say, you know, turn to Scripture. I would say pray. N not everybody is going to, you know, turn to the same method of solace and direction and, and comfort that I would. But I would also say to them, if they don't, you know, man's standards going to be all over the board. You can look, look, look at politics and Republicans, Democrats, they change with every election. And, yes, you know, we're and, and because <laughs> of that, you know, we're scratching our head today in America saying, I never thought I'd see the day. And, and you fill in the blank. And so when, when we are looking at man's standard, it, it's, it's, I, I've always wanted something, I've always wanted the truth. I, hmm. I, I've, I've always, you know, been, been independent enough to raise my hand and say, well, whoa, 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 you're saying two plus two is six. I disagree. That, that, that's four. Let's, let's have this discussion. But if we are wanting the truth, one of the, one of the uh, truths I talk about is unlearning. In, in, in this book, Dig Deep. Gordon, we, it is hard to unlearn. 
in our diets, in our culture, our traditions, traditions in and of themselves, is, is they are not bad. But when, trish, when traditions encourages us to ignore the truth, you know, in, in our wellness systems, you know, I, I love beans, any kind of beans. And the first time my wife, my culture, we eat beans, or most people, a lot of people's culture, they eat beans with ham hocks or fat back or salt pork in them. There's something and, wrong with that? And if you, well, that's, <laughs> I thought there was communism if, if you didn't. Last night. <laughs> I thought it was communism if you didn't have salt pork in your beans. But my wife started to cook the beans just mm. putting seasoning in them. I had to unlearn how to eat beans like that because of my of my culture and they were a whole lot healthier. And so our culture, our traditions, society teaches us fold the tent when bad times comes, you know, drink from that cup of victimhood, put that quilt of warmth around you. It, it'll make you feel a whole lot better. It does make you feel better for the moment, but in the long run, that's right. It keeps you where that's, you are. Right. It, you where you are. it doesn't lead to growth and it doesn't lead to the victory. Right. Now you've been through it. What, what's it like on the other side? Where you, where you persevere through? Well, it, it's obviously a whole lot, a whole lot sweeter. And, and I, I can't say that it, it happened overnight no. in my case. It, it was a process. Um, you know, I, I sat under good teaching from pastors and, you know, I had books and tapes and, you know, I, I watched the 700 Club. And so I, I watched these things and, and, and I think through, through my local church and my pastor, um, you know, you, you, I knew there was a better way, but again, it just feels so good feeling sorry for myself to, to you know, say that I'm the victim. I was done wrong. And, and Gordon, I was. But as you said, I, I eventually concluded if I'm to go to the next level, and sometimes we pray in, in you know, God says it'll take us from one level of glory to the next. We say, Lord, I'm ready to go to the next level. Sometimes the next level isn't there. Sometimes the next level is here in order to get us there. Well, I've actually learned you got to be careful of that prayer because when you pray that prayer, that's, that's that right. You're, you're, you're saying to God, it's okay to test me. That's right. It's okay to put <laughs> me in right. the garden of Gethsemane. <laughs> then, it, that's okay. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm with you. I yeah, want to go up. Right. I want to go to the next <laughs> level. And he says, okay, well, there's some stuff in you. I got to burn out. That's right. And, and again, I, I talk about that in the book. It, it was not fun going through some of those journeys and some of those experiences. But, um, you know, I, I think I am a better person today. I'm, I'm still dysfunctional, as we all are. It's just a matter of degree. But the tragedy in life, Gordon, is not to be dysfunctional. The tragedy in life is to allow our dysfunctions to become our normal. Yeah. And, and when that happens, I mean, again, you just become trapped in bad eating habits. You become trapped in, you know, bad culture. You create bad culture. And in business, they say, you know, bad culture can't, will, will, will trump good strategy every time. You know, mm -hmm. if, if you change the culture, you know, the strategy works. In football, it's the same way. In, in, in culture, you know, if you get a player in the locker room that, that's not with the program and it's all about me, 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 I, 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 you know, that, that person may have some good individual statistics, but you usually won't win championships with them. And the culture is just bad. That They think it's all about them. It's not about the team. And so be it politics or ministry or business, wherever it is, I've had a chance to experience some things in 56 years that I hope will be a help and encouragement to people. And again, my circumstances, but nevertheless, those truths are woven in the fabric of the earth. And right. Gordon can't ignore them. I can't ignore them. If we're to get to the mountaintop, we've got to adhere to them. When you come through, you actually understand how much his strength is made perfect in our weakness. That's right. And you know what? When you get to the point that you say, God, now I see. Now I see. Boy, that, that's a sweet spot. You had spot. the best plan. You had yeah. the best way. That's right. From the beginning. What was I thinking? That's right. <laughs> and not my will, your will be done. That's right. And, and that's the path to victory. That's right. You want to get through some struggles, this wonderful book, Dig Deep. It's available uh, wherever books are sold. And JC, thank you for being Lord, with us. Thanks for having me and on. God bless you on your new adventure. Thank you, sir. You're now a new CEO. It's wonderful.